Welcome to Gaia Yoga, my friends. My name is Christina, and today I offer you a vinyasa yoga flow that will help us to relieve the stress connected to the events that are going on in the world with the coronavirus, with all the anxiety that you may be experiencing in the midst of all of the news, all of the sensational headlines, all the numbers that we are shown in the um, articles, in the blog posts, on TV, that makes us really stressed, give us anxiety, and in order to distract from all of this, I invite you to try this vinyasa flow. We'll be focusing on our breath, trying to connect each and every movement to our inhale and exhale, slowing down our breathing and holding our poses to feel more grounded and connected to the earth. We'll begin the practice from a comfortable seated position. If you don't have your mat next to you, grab your mat, grab your water and let's begin practicing our yoga. So we'll begin our practice from a comfortable seated position, taking your lotus, half lotus, if you have it in your practice. You can sit on your block, elevating the hips to feel more comfortable in your hips, or you can cross your legs, or you can sit on your knees. Spreading the weight evenly between both sit bones, taking a moment to tune in and observe how your body is feeling today. You can bring your palms towards the heart center, bow on your chin, and taking a moment to set the intention for your practice. Maybe making a wish, saying a prayer, a mantra, dedicating your practice to somebody or something. What do you expect from your yoga? What is bringing you to your mat? You can bring your palms on top of the knees. You can keep your eyes closed and stay here for a little bit, connecting to your breath. Observing your inhales and exhales. Observing your chest rise and your belly expand as you inhale. Your chest drop and belly emptying as you exhale. Expanding the belly, the stomach, the chest as you inhale, emptying as you exhale. Switching to your breath through the nose, inhales and exhales through the nose, keeping your mouth closed. Sending the air down your throat as you exhale all the way down towards the tailbone. With each and every exhale, relax in your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your fingers, your thighs and your knees. Softening your face muscles, relaxing your jaw and your lips. And now elongating your inhales and exhales. Inhale for a count of three and exhale for a count of three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And now inhale for a count of three and exhaling for a count of six. Exhale. Inhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. Inhale for three. Hold your breath. Exhale for six. One more time. Inhale for three. Hold your breath. Exhale for six. You can gently open your eyes and just take a look, reflect how you're feeling. Maybe there are already subtle changes in the way you feel. Maybe a little bit more calm, more present, a little bit more relaxed. Maybe you have a little less tension in this area in your heart. Maybe your shoulders, your neck, your upper back are a little bit more relaxed. When you're ready, inhale, lift your arms up to the sides to lengthen. Exhale, lower the palms down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, interlace the fingers, lengthen. Exhale, reach the arms to the right, gazing up towards the ceiling, relax your knees. Engage the core, inhale back to center. Exhale to the left and gaze up towards the ceiling. Relax your knees. Engage the core, return to neutral. Rotate the palms up to the ceiling, lengthen, stretch the fingers as you push the fingers up towards the sky, draw the shoulders down. Exhale, begin drawing the pubic bone towards the ribs, rounding your lower back, middle back, upper back, rounding your neck, tucking the chin and pressing the palms to the front of the room. Inhale, lifting through the heart, sending your arms behind you, finding a nice arch in your back. Exhale, round. Inhale up, exhale round. Inhale up, exhale round. We'll release the palms and slowly begin lifting the chin, lifting through the sternum. Relax your arms, feel the blood rushing down your arms, your forearms, your wrists. You can shake your wrists, you can relax your fingers, rolling the wrists in a circular motion. Your forearms, waking up your elbow joints, your shoulders, awakening your shoulders. Bring your right palm to the floor next to you. Bring your left palm on top of the right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. And as you press the left palm into the left knee, you find leverage to twist a little deeper, trying to keep your shoulders over the hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift your right arm up and lean towards the left trying to lift through the heart, and your right knee would want to lift with you, so draw it back down to the floor. Extend your left arm. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. 
Bring your right palm to the floor, lift your left arm up and stretch to the left side of the body. You can gaze up towards the ceiling, working on stacking your shoulders, opening through the chest, engaging the core, slowly rising up. Bring your right palm on top of the left knee, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Relax through the knees. Keep breathing. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Keep drawing your left knee down. Root your left sit bone into the mat and try to stretch here on the left side and kind of opening the chest up towards the ceiling. Engage in the core. Inhale, slowly rising back up. Bring your left palm to the floor. Circle your right arm to the right, up and all the way to the left. If you can, you can lower your left elbow down and stretching through the right side, expanding through the ribs as you inhale, contracting as you exhale, lifting your right armpit up towards the ceiling. Engage the core, inhale, slowly rise up back to neutral. Bring your palms to the floor right in front of you. You can bring your right shin or the front shin slightly forward for a deeper stretch on your outer hip and fold down. Maybe you your elbows are not able to touch the floor. That's fine. Just have your arms extended. You can lift through the wrist and stay here, trying to lengthen in your back. Relax through your lower back. Relax through your pelvic floor. You can do this little moves from side to side, trying to relax and fold a little deeper. You can go all the way to the floor with your forehead if you wish. With each and every exhale, trying to relax. Inhale, lifting your head up to neutral. And now change the cross of your legs, bringing the opposite chin forward. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, slowly begin folding down, taking the variation that works for you today. Inhale and exhale, trying to relax, trying to let go. When you're ready, inhale, lifting the chest. Returning back to neutral, sending your palms towards the low back and interlacing the fingers and trying to close the base of the wrist. Inhale, lengthen, lifting through the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another and lift the palms up towards the ceiling. You would feel a nice stretch in your shoulders as they lift the arms up. You can pulse here, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lengthen, open the heart and rotate the chest to the right, send your arms to the left. Breathe. Inhale and exhale, slowly returning back to center. Lift through the heart, lift the arms and rotate the chest to the left, lifting the arms high, sending them to the right. Shoulders away from your ears. And breathe. Inhale. Exhale, return to neutral, release. And from here, transition to your tabletop, bringing the palms right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. Spreading the fingers, finding your cats and cows, draw the pubic bone towards the ribs, roll the biceps out, and begin rounding your back, tucking the chin and pressing the floor away from you. Inhale, begin finding the arch, lifting through the heart, and exhaling, rounding. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, arch, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, return to neutral, send the hips back and find your child's pose for a moment. Bring your forehead to the floor. Inhale and exhale, trying to relax and let go any unnecessary thoughts. Trying to surrender to the present moment. 
Trying to take everything as it is. Lifting the hips up. Curl the toes. Let go any tension in your ankles. And lift the knees and hover the floor a couple of inches off the mat. Now send your armpits towards the floor, extending through the arms, reaching your belly towards the thighs. And extend the legs into your downward dog. Staying in your downward dog, walk here and observe how your downward dog feels today. Bending your knees one at a time, observing the sensations in your hamstrings, in the back of the knees, your cough muscles. Inhale, send the gaze to the front, exhale, step, walk, or you can jump to the front of the mat. Taking a moment to hang here. Micro bending the knees. You can grab opposite elbows or let your arms just hang and be heavy. You can swing your shoulders gently from side to side. From side to side. Relaxing your head, your face, relaxing your jaw. <sighs> Trying to let go any tension. Keeping your knees slightly bent, engage the core, inhale, and drawing the pubic bone towards the ribs, kind of scooping, scooping with your pelvis. Begin extending the front of the body very slowly, aligning the knees over the ankles, hips over the knees, extending through the front of your body, aligning the shoulders over the hips, focusing on your third eye, aligning the crown of the head over the spine. Taking a moment to observe how you feel. Step into the front of your mat if you're not at the front of your mat. Observing your balance today. Maybe you're shifting it to the front, to the back, maybe to the left or the right. Maybe you feel balanced through four corners of the feet. Lift the ten toes, try to find the space between the toes and root all the toes into the mat. And imagine you're trying to rip your mat apart, pushing the feet into the mat and kind of sliding the feet away. And as you do it, you will feel your thighs engaging. And also, uh, as you kind of grab the floor, the mat with your toes, you feel your arches engaging, very rooted into the mat, like a trunk of a tree rooted to the earth, feeling strong like a mountain, breathing here. And now we are going to move through our sun salutations very slowly, connecting it to our breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose, keeping our mouth closed. Inhale, lifting the arms up, finding your back bend. You can micro bend the knees if you wish. Exhale, slowly folding down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, stepping back to plank, lowering down to your knees, chest and chin. Or your chaturanga. Inhale, finding your cobra or your upper dog. Exhale, lifting the hips up, downward dog. Tuck the chin. Gaze towards the navel, roll the biceps out. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, step, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale and lifting the chest halfway up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rising up. 
find your new back bend. Exhale. Find your new mountain pose. Inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back to Chaturanga. <laughs> Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Three deep breaths here. Tuck the chin, gaze to the navel. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, jump to the front, standing forward, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rising up to standing, back bend. Exhale, return to neutral. Inhale, bend the knees, chair. Exhaling, folding down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, chaturanga or your modification. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Drop your right heel down, step your left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Drop your left heel down, right foot forward, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five inhales and exhales here, roll the biceps out, engage your pelvic floor, your lower belly, tuck the chin. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, step, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Inhaling, lifting the chest, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms, chair. Exhale, stand up tall, bring the palms to the heart. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms, find your chair. Exhale, bring the palms to the heart and twist to the right. Stay here. Mm -hmm. 
inhale, exhale, return to center, inhale, exhale, twist to the left, hook the elbow or your forearm, stay twisted. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale and exhale, return to center. Inhale, extend the arms back to chair. Exhale, slowly folding down, extending your legs, opening your feet, mat, hip was distance apart, grabbing your big toes, inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, open the elbows to the sides, reach your belly to your thighs. Stay here, one. Slightly engage the glutes. Two. Four. And five. Inhale, lifting the chest halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back into Chaturanga or plank, knees, chest and chin. Inhale. Upward dog and curling the toes, lift through the heart. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, step it to the front of the mat. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, lift the arms up, finding your low lunge back bend. Breathe, engage the core. Engaging the core, inhale, returning back to neutral and twisting the chest to the right, hooking the elbow to the outside of the knee or your forearm and breathe. Soften your face muscles, relax your jaw. Engage the core, squeeze the glutes, slowly release, and now slide your right palm down your left thigh. Inhale, lift through your left arm, stay twisted, finding your twisted back bend and sink your hips down to the floor. Engaging the core, inhaling, slowly rising up, staying twisted. And now rotating the chest to the front, extending your arms to the sides and lifting your arms up. Lift to lengthen and shift the hips slightly back. Find a 90-90 position for your knees. Inhale and exhale, reach the arms to the right and lengthen through the left side, reaching your left armpit up to the ceiling, breathe. Root your lower left leg into the mat. Draw the pubic bone up and towards the ribs. Inhale and exhale, circle, rotating the chest towards the floor and kind of draw a half circle with your fingers, sending the arms to the front and all the way to the left, stacking the hip over the left knee and right shoulder over the left, reaching the arms to the left. Root your left lower leg into the mat. Breathe. Expand the ribs as you inhale. Contract as you exhale. Mm. 
engage the core. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, low the arms down slowly. Bring the palms to the floor. Sink in the hips one more time. Make sure the front knee is above the ankle or not going over the toes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, send the hips back slightly, press the palms into the mat and round your back, tuck the chin. Inhale, lengthen, lift through the heart. Exhale, round in your back. Press the floor away from you, tuck in the chin. Inhale, sink the hips, lift through the heart. Exhale, lift your back knee, step your right foot back into plank and lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Five deep inhales and exhales. Observe how your hamstrings feel. Maybe the right heel is a little closer to the floor. Tuck the chin, engage your pelvic floor. Inhale, step your left foot to the front of the mat, drop your back knee down. Inhale, rising up, lifting the arms up, sinking the hips, lifting through the sternum and sending your shoulders back as you sink the hips to the floor, breathe. Stretch through your belly. Engage the core, begin lifting your head and shoulders back to neutral. Bring the palms towards the heart, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left, hook the elbow or your forearm and breathe. Squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, release the hook on the elbow, extend the arms, lift your right arm up and slide your left palm down your right thigh, find your twisted back bend, sink the hips as low as you can. Engage the core, inhale slowly, rise back up. Now rotate the chest to face the front, lifting the arms up one more time and shift the hips slightly back, finding 90-90 position for your legs. Hip above the knee, left foot is under the left knee. Inhale, lengthen, press through your lower right leg into the mat, through your foot into the mat and draw the pubic bone towards the lower ribs and you would feel this area engaging and already stretching. Extend the arms, lengthen through your right armpit. Inhale and reach as you exhale to the left. Gaze up to the ceiling. Expand the ribs as you inhale. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, begin rotating the chest to the floor. Don't move the hips, lengthen through your low back, reach the fingertips to the front circle, draw a circle all the way to the right. And now, keeping your hip over the right knee, stack your left shoulder over the right. Gaze up, engage the core, try to lengthen. If you sinked, somehow uh, got out of the pose, realign yourself. Engage the core, inhale, rise back up. Exhale, release the hold on the fingers, slow the palms down and sink the hips. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, shifting the hips, shifting the hips slightly, pressing the flow away from you, rounding your back. 
tuck in the chin, feel a nice stretch in your middle back. Inhale, sink the hips, lift through the heart. Exhale, send the hips slightly back, rounding your back, giving yourself space to round. Inhale, sink the hips, lift through the heart. Exhale, curl your right toes, lift your back knee up, step your left foot back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. And now observe how you feel, maybe the heels are a little closer to the floor. Maybe there are less thoughts in your head, less tension in your heart, in your chest, in your throat. Inhale and exhale. Try to lower your elbows down to the floor for your dolphin. And now begin sinking your chest, your sternum, your armpits as low as you can to the floor. Lifting the kneecaps up and reaching the heels down. Trying to stretch through your heart. Trying to send your sit bones up to the ceiling. Pressing your forearms away from you towards the mat, towards the earth. Roll the biceps out. Inhale. Exhale, lower the knees down. Shift the hips back, relax your shoulders. Feel the blood rushing down your arms towards the ribs, towards the wrists, relax the wrists. You can bring your forehead to the floor into your child's pose. And observe your body slowly kind of Softening, becoming more fluid, less rigid. Heated. Relaxed. More present. More secure. When you're ready, press the palms into the mat, curl the toes, and lift the hips up for your downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it to the front, drop your back heel down. Inhale, rising up for your warrior one. Bend the front knee, stay here for five breaths. Roll the feet into the mat. Find a strong warrior, ready to handle anything. Inhale, exhale, send your palms down your low back, interlace the fingers, lift through the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades, slide your palms down your left thigh as you lift, finding your back bend. And exhale, engage the core, exhale, fold down, reaching your forehead to the floor, reaching the palms to the front of the room, stay here. Relax your head. Relax your neck, squeeze your shoulder blades and reach the palms to the floor. When you're ready, press through the front foot, engage the core, engage the glutes, slowly rising up. Release the holds on the palms and extend your front leg. Step your back foot slightly forward, heel to heel alignment for your pyramid, square the hips. Bring the palms towards your reverse prayer or grabbing your opposite elbows. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, leading with the heart, begin folding over your right thigh, sending the sit bones back. Breathe. Inhale, press through the front foot, slowly lifting your 
chest half yep release the holds on the palms and now bring your left palm either to the block on top of the foot or to the outside of the foot or on your fingertips and sending your right hip back rotating to open the chest to the right reaching your right arm up reverse triangle keeping both legs straight Breathe. Inhale and exhale, circle your right arm back and down to the floor. Framing the front foot, press through the ball of the left foot, shifting the weight towards the right leg, finding your standing split. Lengthen and exhale, fold. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale. Slowly begin sending your left foot all the way back, bending the front knee, finding your lunge. Drop your back heel down. And now lengthen and try to twist hooking the elbow to the outside of the knee, bringing the palms together, trying to stack your shoulders, send your right hip back. Breathe. Inhale and exhale very carefully. Lift your back heel up and drop the knee down. And sink in the hips. Maybe finding a deeper stretch. Maybe you can find your reversed bind. Wrap your arm under the thigh. Breathe. Inhale and exhale, slowly release your bind. Keep your left palm to the inner side of the foot. Stay twisted and find your quadriceps stretch carefully. Roll the mat if needed, bending the left knee, reaching the heel to the glute, grabbing the foot, stretching. If you wish, you can lower down to your block or maybe your elbow all the way to the floor. Breathe. Inhale and exhale, slowly release the hold on the foot. Bring your left, bring your right palm to the inner side of the foot, staying with your arms extended or maybe both elbows on the mat, finding your lizard. And if you wish, you can take it deeper by walking the palms away from you. It's just an option, you don't have to do it. When you're ready, walk the palms back in. And walk your palms all the way to the left, away from your right leg. You can stay on your elbows if you wish. If you are on your elbows, extend your arms, walk your left palm a little closer towards your body, and now lift through your right arm and find this kind of side kind of side twisted back bend. So you are leaning to the left, you are sinking the hips to the floor, lifting through the heart and leaning back with your right shoulder. Observe where you feel it. Inhale and exhale slowly, circle your right arm up and back down to the floor. Walk your palms back to center, frame your front foot. You can shift the hips slightly forward to Release the stretch here and now move your right foot all the way to the left, sinking your right knee down, preparing for your pigeon. 
very slowly begin sinking the hips down, moving your left knee away and away to the back. And if you feel that you need a block or a book or towel under your right hip, you can use it. And when you're ready, sinking all the way down to your elbows or to your chest. Breathe and observe the sensations. Curl your left toes, lift the hips, step your right foot back, walk your legs here in your plank, shift the hips back for your downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and step it to the front of the mat, drop your back, heel down. Inhale, rising up for your warrior one, staying here for five breaths, rooting the feet. Inhale and exhale, low the palms down to your low back, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, lengthen, slide your palms down your back thigh, keep your front knee bent, engage the core. Inhale, slowly begin rising back up and exhale, folding down, reaching your chest and your forehead to the floor next to your left knee. Squeeze the shoulder blades and reach the palms to the front towards the floor. Keep your back leg straight. Press through the outer edge of your back foot into the mat. Relax your head. Let it be heavy. When you're ready, press through the front foot, engage the core, slowly rising up. Release the holds on the palms. Straighten the front leg, step your back foot slightly forward. Square the hips, grab your elbows on, or reverse prayer, inhale, lengthen, exhale, slowly begin folding over the left thigh. You can gaze towards the navel or towards the toes. Press through the ball of the left foot into the mat. When you're ready, as you press through the left foot, slowly begin rising up halfway. Release the hold on the palms and find your reverse triangle. Stacking your shoulders, sending your right hip forward, left hip back. Using the block if needed, press through the ball of the left foot into the mat, gazing up to the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, circle your left arm back and down to the floor. Frame your front foot, lift your back heel up and press to the ball of the right foot, shifting the weight towards the left leg, lifting your right leg up, lengthening and exhale, folding down, standing forward fold. Inhale and exhale, slowly shifting the weight back, sending your right foot to the back of the mat, bending the left knee. Drop your back, heel down 45 degrees, lifting through the heart, bring the palms together. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left, hook the elbow, send your right hip forward, left hip back. Trying to stake your left shoulder 
on top of the right. Inhale and exhale slowly. Lift your back, heel up, and lower your right knee down. Find your balance, engage the glutes. Very carefully sinking the hips down to the floor, and maybe you can find a deeper twist. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Slowly release. Bring your right palm to the floor. Staying twisted and finding your quadriceps stretch. You can roll the mat for support under the knee. Use the belt or your towel. When you're ready, slowly release the hold on your foot and bring your left palm to the inner side of the left foot, sinking towards the floor as low as you can, moving your right knee all the way back, finding your lizard. In your and exhale, trying to relax here in your lower belly, in your pelvis, in your hip flexors, in your left glute. Maybe you can extend your arms to the front and sink a little deeper. Breathe. Maybe you can have the palms on the blocks. Slowly walk the palms back towards the foot. And walk your torso all the way to the right, away from your left knee. And don't let the knee follow you. Send it all the way to the left. And observe where you feel it. Relaxing through your jaw, through your throat, through your heart. Letting go any tension. And now moving the palms slowly, closer towards the hip, keeping your right palm on the floor. And now circle your left arm up and back. So as you sink the hips, send the knee away from you, you open the heart and lean back, kind of back and right. Observe. Observe where you feel it. Inhale, slowly lift your left arm up and lower it down to the floor. And now return your torso to face the front. Shift the hips slightly back very carefully, releasing your front uh, right hip. And slowly move your left foot to the right edge of the mat, descending the left knee down. Very carefully with the knee. And try not to rush, let the tissues get ready. And little by little, sink closer and closer to the floor, moving your right knee away from you all the way to the back. Breathe here. And if you're ready, start lowering down. <sighs> you can exhale with your mouth, all the tension, all the stress. Mm. 
and slowly rotate in the chest to face the front, lifting the shoulders, curl your right toes, lift your right knee up, lift the hips, step your left foot back and you can walk your legs here, let go, any tension. And now very, very slowly, push through the heels towards the front, begin bending the elbows and very, 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 very slowly lowering all the way down. Press the palms into the mat, draw the elbows towards one another, press the feet into the mat, lengthen and find your cobra. Opening your heart for everything that's expecting you in your future. Try not to resist. Whatever happens is happening for a reason. There's always something to learn, to get stronger, maybe to change to see where we can change, where we can improve. Inhale, exhale, slowly begin lowering down. Press the palms into the mat one more time. Inhale, begin peeling your chest, your ribs off the mat. Maybe you can extend your arms. Roll the biceps out, send your shoulders back. Feel a nice stretch in your belly. Send your ribs to the front. Send your shoulders back and down. Your heart is open and ready to receive. It's ready to help others, to give. It's filled with self-love, self-acceptance. Inhale and exhale, slowly begin bending the elbows, lowering your belly, your chest down to the floor. You can lower the floor down and just stay here. <sighs> when you're ready, press the palms into the mat, shift the hips back. You can stretch your lower back here for a moment. And now drop the hips to the left side and cross your right foot and bring it to the outside of the left thigh. Bring your right sit bone to the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Throw your spine, lift the arms up and find your twist. You can hug the knee, hug the thigh in. If you're pregnant and have your belly, leave some space for your belly. Take the variation that works for you today. Inhale, exhale, slowly release. From here you extend your right leg and just have your left knee bent and find your Janna Shishasana, lift the arms up, exhale, folding down, stretching your lower back, your hamstring. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, return to neutral. Bend your right knee. Drop both knees down. Open your feet like a book and pulse in your butterfly. Let go in your tension in your neck. And now release the hold on the feet. Let your right knee drop down and extend your left leg, flex the foot, lift the arms up, lengthen, exhale, reach the arms to the front, grab the foot, the ankle, use the belt and stretch through your lower back, your left hamstring. You can play with rolling the foot out and back in. For more sensations, flex the foot and dig the heel in. Ouch. Observe where you feel it. Inhale, lift the chest, halfway up. Exhale, returning back to neutral. Now you just point the right knee to face the front of the room and bring your left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Drop the left sit bone down. Inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, find your twist. 
hugging the knee, you can bring the elbow to the outside, you can find your bind, whatever is in your practice. Remember, this is your practice and you're taking it as deep as you want. Inhale, exhale, slowly release. And now extend your left leg and extend your right leg and finding your forward fold, both legs straight, flex the feet, finding the movement from your hips first. So if you're not too used to it, it may be a little bit challenging for you, especially for guys. <laughs> they don't know how to do it. But this is where the movement starts. So if you try to do it with your back, even I cannot do it with my back. I start in my hips. And then my belly button is already halfway closer towards the thighs. Then I lengthen and lower down through my ribs. Breathe. You can play here with again rolling out and back in. You can use the block to fold a little deeper if you're very, very flexible. If you're using the belt, press the b bring the belt to the balls of the feet and push the feet, the balls of the feet into the belt and belt into the mm, balls of the feet and it's gonna give you extra sensations. So you can even play with pushing with your fingers into this area as you flex the feet and fall down and you will get even more sensations. <sighs> Breathe. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, return to neutral. And now let's reverse it with our tabletop. Bring the feet parallel to one another. Palms right out and under the shoulders. Spread the fingers. And now begin squeezing the glutes. I see it. This pose uh, is difficult for many people. They, when I look at them, they look like this. And they're shaking. So. It looks like they're not engaging properly. You have to squeeze your glutes and push through the feet into the mat. And this area up to the ceiling is going to give you leverage to push higher and press the floor away from you with the palms, rolling the biceps out. Squeeze the glutes. And if you feel comfortable, drop your head down. Inhale, lift your head back up to neutral, tuck the chin, very slowly begin bending the elbows, sending the elbows back and lowering the hips down. Lowering down to your elbows and bringing the knees in for a moment and now sending them behind you into your plow, bringing the palms to the floor or reaching them towards the toes. Just playing with your plow, taking the variation that works for you. Bring the palms towards your middle back as you bend the elbows. Engage the core and the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs, press the feet together, lift the legs up to the ceiling. Nice and strong shoulder stand, aligning the feet over the hips. Breathing. As you breathe in out, breathing in and breathing out through the nose, keeping your mouth closed, your chin is tucked to the chest. Feel the constriction and this uh, movement in your throat, in your th thyroid area. Feel the compression. Inhale and exhale slowly, lower your feet all the way down to the floor. Extend your arms, press the palms into the mat. Maybe you notice the blood rushing down back to the feet. And as you exhale, slowly begin walking the toes in, in, in towards the crown of the head. You will feel your thighs compress into your belly, to your ribs, and maybe the shins to the face. And then roll out, compressing as <laughs> long as you can. And before you lower the legs, squeeze your inner thighs and feet together. And it's going to help you engage the core and protect 
your lower back. You can do a couple of moves that make you feel good at the end of the practice. You can do your twists. And when you're ready, extending your legs, extending your arms, palms facing up, finding your Shavasana pose. Returning back to your natural breathing. Aligning your chin with your forehead. Relaxing in your shoulders, in your middle back, shoulder blade area. Scanning your body to make sure each and every cell is completely relaxed. Surrendering to the present moment, to what is. Feeling the support of the earth against your back body. The support of the air against your front body. You can stay here for as long as you wish. If you're ready to finish with me, begin waking up your toes, your fingers, bending your knees. And rolling to your right side for your fetal position. And rising up to your seated as you did at the beginning of the practice. Keeping your eyes closed. Staying connected to your practice. Turning the palms towards the heart, bowing your chin. Reflecting how you feel after this practice. Thinking about your intention. Observing if there are any changes in the way your heart feels, your body, your mind. Being grateful for everything your body was able to accomplish today. Being grateful for all the energy you were able to cultivate during this practice. For all the stress and tension you were able to give away back to the earth, to the universe. Feeling lighter, calmer more at peace in your heart and your mind. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you feel better or even great after this practice. I feel very calm. This long holds and long inhalations and exhalations are very calming for me, very relaxing, very soothing. So I hope it gives the same effect to your body, to your mind, to your heart. Let me know in the comments how you feel after this practice, any sensations, any emotions arising during the practice. Please share the link to this video to everybody that needs this at um, this time of our lives with what, what's going on in the world, with all the events and news and craziness, all the tension and the fear of the future of what's going to be happening with our jobs, with our 
finances, with everything that pretty much bothers every person on this planet. Yeah. I hope you stay well, healthy, and calm at this uh, turbulent times. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, turn on the notifications, share with your friends, leave me a comment. Until we practice again, namaste.